Hey, what's going on, guys? It's ETA Prime back here again, and today I'm here with the Raspberry Pi 3, running Retro Pi 3.6, and I wanted to show you guys some Amiga games running. Now, my CPU is overclocked 1.4 gigahertz. My GPU is at 450 megahertz, and my memory RAM split is set to 400 megabytes for the GPU VRAM. So we're going to start UAE for All, which is one of the Amiga emulators built into RetroPie 3.6. I'm going to go ahead and set this up real quick, fast forward this for you, and we'll get into playing some games. First up is going to be Another World. I'm just going to fast forward this intro for you. We'll get right into the gameplay. We are now in gameplay. And everything was pre-mapped from setting up the RetroPie with my wired Xbox 360 controller. Now it's a generic rock candy controller. But all these ROMs that I've played on the Raspberry Pi 3 have run pretty good. on the Amiga. Now I've seen uh, the older Raspberry Pi's lag. Oh gosh. Oh man. This thing's right there. It's gonna get me. Oh. And I'm dead. I'm back at the UAE for all emulator front end. And I will load up a different game. I will try... Moonstone, A Hard Day's Night. This is a three disc set. One other thing I forgot to mention is you can hit this uh, floppy speed to eight times. It should up the loading time. I don't really notice the difference. I usually set it to eight though. Do another A1200 and we will press reset and it should start the ROM for us. Gore on, definitely. One player, one player. And we will select a knight. Be Sir Jeffrey. I'm going to move so you can see my little character here kind of turn-based um, movement to uh, I meet another knight and get to fight him. Here's a fight right here. Try to bust his head off. Oh, yeah, decapitated the blue knight. Okay. Okay. 
one more of these battles here and we'll swap games. I gotta fight him again? I just destroyed you, dude. Oh, he took my head off. That's it. We're gonna try another game. Back at the Amiga interface, and we will try one more, and we'll play Toki. This is a single disc um, game here. And I have no clue why it's not loading it. Eject. Hmm. I'm going to try it on. I'm not sure if this will work. Let's go ahead. All right. It loaded right up. I wasn't sure. I'm not sure what that was about. A glitch in the system. Something here. Oh, I'm having trouble with the controller. There we are. This game, as you can see, is feet glitches when I move. Not sure if it's just the ROM that I downloaded or the Amiga. Ah. Oh, man. Okay. We got this. Oh, well, it does play decently, but as you can see, the glitching and the sprites in the ground and everything. The frame rate is dead on. That's what I gotta do here. Woo! Oh, my head's all twisted sideways. And I'm dead. This ju um, jump and up are the same button, so I'm having a little trouble here with the uh, controls because I'm supposed to be able to shoot upwards, but when I press up to shoot, it jumps and I get hit. And and I'm done. Well done. So as you can see, Amiga works pretty good on the overclocked Raspberry Pi 3. That last game, Toki, had some graphical errors, but it's really a test the ROM, see if it works, see if it plays. There's so many games for Amiga that were amazing. Everybody should try a few of them. Um, if you guys got any questions or comments, leave them in the comments below or send me a private message. I appreciate you guys watching, and thanks.